guys. The shelf's getting pretty full. Where am I gonna put all this Pro Tour swag? Let's go! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back right here to Hometown TCG. You guys know me, my name is Josh, and LSS dropped an announcement about Pro Tour numero uno right here in New Jersey in the United States. And it has hit me that I think LSS is just crushing it right now as far as the play scene goes. This Pro Tour announcement had tons of spice, and spoiler alert, it had something that a lot of people aren't a huge fan of, but I think we can work through. But right now they're crushing the competitive and casual play scene. The Pro Tour is coming out with $100,000 in prize support. That's right, the players that play on the Pro Tour in New Jersey are gonna walk away with $100,000 in prize support courtesy of LSS. That number is huge. And it makes the notion of being like a fab professional and a flesh and blood player professionally almost feasible. Now, I'm not encouraging anyone to do this, but it, 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 it adds these dreams and get these players' minds going. I know that right here in the hometown TCG Discord, we got something special brewing. We got some high level players with stacked resumes that are going to this thing and they plan to take the whole thing down. And if you guys want to be in on their conversations, be able to pick their brains, and be able to kind of see what they're doing for the upcoming event, you got to visit us at Patreon at patreon.com slash hometown TCG. Jump in the Discord, and you guys know I had to talk about it. But in all seriousness, they are coming up with something special. It is a special group of players that are after flesh and blood success. And, and you know, my money is on those guys. I've seen the way they prepare, or prepare. I see what they're doing. But there's tons of players just like that from all over the world that are going to be coming into one place and playing in this Pro Tour. And we talked about the prizes these players are going to be after. And the rundown is uh, the champion's going to get 25000 US dollars, 25 k to the champion, as well as, you know, gold foils and stuff like that. And a big change with the gold foils is it's now gold foils of your hero's class and uh, talent. So you can get, you know, specific gold foils that you're after for your favorite hero, for the hero that you're playing. And I think that is super cool. Now note guys, this is meant to be played at the high, highest level. It's invitation only. These players are gonna be very serious. So this weekend, the Pro Tour weekend in New Jersey had a chance to kind of be this, this smaller, maybe more exclusive event. It, it, it could have been, you know, maybe something that doesn't look as good on camera from a, from a wide standpoint, but the gameplay would have been very nice. But no, no, no. LSS said no, no, no. This is a celebration of Fab. We're bringing us all together. While the Pro Tour might be the centerpiece of this event, we're surrounding it with every and all levels of fab gameplay and fab celebration. So there is something at this event for everybody. There's also going to be a calling at this event. That's right, at this Pro Tour New Jersey, there will be a calling event that everyone can play. It's open in, or it's open registration. And one of the prizes at this calling, the first place prize is the last ever gold foil tunic. Are you kidding me? The last ever gold foil extended art tunic. Oh my gosh, what a sick prize. This calling has got prizes, you know, all the way down to 32nd. They're paying out 200 US dollars to prizing. So the calling is going to be kind of the next level down. But even if you're not that player, if you just love to jam fab, there are side events. There's a major blitz event that are giving away Pro Tour invites if you're interested in that kind of thing. But also just side events, getting tickets, picking things off the channel, fireball, prize wall. It's going to be an absolute ridiculous celebration of flesh and blood. And if you have the chance, you need to get to this event, guys. Some of the best times that I have had in this game and in this community is out at these events, hanging out with you guys, meeting people, jamming games, getting people, you know, pitching me their tech, what they're trying to do, what their secret sauce is. I love these events. And if you haven't been to one, and even if you have, you need to get out there to these events. They're going to be off the chart. LSS is crushing it with big events right now. And not only that, I do want to touch base on the fact that I think LSS is not only crushing it at the major, you know, convention style level event, but at the locals as well. 
the farewell to Wraith event that we just had recently here in the United States was possibly the best local flesh and blood event I've ever been to. It was centered around the absolute perfect set, whether you're a veteran player or a new player, the Flesh and Blood Welcome to Wraith event just blew it all away. Hero balance was great. You could play based on your card pool. You could play based on thematically. I just like Brood. I want to play Bubba Big Brood. I want to play Brood. You could do that. You want to play Ninja. Whatever it meant, you could play what you wanted. You could play it at any level that you wanted. And the prize support supported you playing Flesh and Blood the way you wanted to. There was something for serious players. There was something for more casual players. There was something for brand new players. There was even something for veteran players that have never had a chance to open Welcome to Wraith. I know a couple very high end, very good players that this was their first Welcome to Wraith experience and they loved it guys. So LSS right now is crushing it out of the park with all of their events. It's such a cool environment and possibly the best play circuit that's out right now is being hosted by LSS. So big shout out to them, kudos to them. The one area where I think that they missed the mark and I'm, you know, I'm sure there's some kind of reason for this. So I don't know what the reason is. So I'm not saying that, that it's wrong, but it's something that I think that they missed the mark on was using 90 day EXP to fill out the pro tour. Uh, I know that a lot of high level players had the notion that they were not going to be using 90 day EXP. They were going to kind of pivot into this ELO system. They were going to use these rankings as a way to fill out that pro tour that's coming up right here in New Jersey. And it was a major disappointment for players that might have leaned on that a little bit and not gathered the XP, maybe spent more time in their play test groups because their ELO was high enough getting this, you know, grinding this out, really getting this this set figured out, getting these decks and this meta figured out and trying to go win this thing. So that I believe that was a little bit of a miss in the mark. I The problem is I don't want to stress it too much because I don't necessarily have a solution. I would have liked to see them pivot into the ELO system that they had mentioned before that kind of rates players and kind of gives you a position or a ranking based on your rating, based on your strength of schedule and things like that. But if there's some problem in that system behind the scenes that I don't know about, or if there hasn't been enough time to collect data, th then I respect the fact that he didn't go with that route. So I, I think that is something that they missed the mark on. I would love to hear about maybe why that couldn't happen. But other than that, guys, these events are just off the chart. Flesh and Blood is in such a cool spot. With Everfest coming out, it's a brewer's just paradise. There's so many different decks to brew and take to your local armories and try out tech and maybe see how many cards you can draw or how many frostbites you can make your opponent. Whatever your niche may be, get out there and play these decks. I don't want to ramble too long, guys. Again, we're racing to 4,000 subs. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, what are you doing? Click the subscribe button right here at Hometown TCG. Let me know what you guys think most importantly, let me know what the next event you guys are going to get to on the Flesh and Blood circuit, whether it's your armory, whether you're planning on going to one of the big ones, whether you're going all the way to the Pro Tour, whatever it is, let me know and I will let you know if I'm going to be there. And then finally, uh, big announcement, Hometown TCG, that's right, I will be at The Calling Indianapolis. I, I got a group of friends that I'm going with, we're taking the trip. That's right, the puppy's over here excited because annou I'm announcing the Calling Indianapolis. We are going to the Calling Indy. I cannot wait to see all you guys there, hang out, play some games, meet everybody. If you see me there, feel free, run up, say hi, give me a high five, or if it's, you know, if we're still in protocol, maybe let's do an elbow bump or something like that. But this is going to be an absolute blast. I've had so much fun. I can't wait to get out on the road with some buds, do a little mini road trip, play some fab, meet all of you guys. I will be at the Calling Indianapolis. Again, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, click it. If you haven't visited us yet, visit us at patreon.com slash hometown TCG. Uh, the patrons keep the lights on around here. A huge shout out to all you guys. You guys make it possible for me to make these videos in a game I'm so passionate about. You guys make it possible for me to you know, edit these, spend a little time. So huge shout out. Thank you so much. I could not have done it without you. Uh, so this is the big, this is the big announcement, guys. I can't wait. Let me know where you're going. And until next time, you guys know me. My name is Josh, and we'll see you around. Goodbye. Whoa!